How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've uh, been getting some questions about the T960 for a little while, so thought I'd make a video up, let you guys check it out. So, yeah, let's get to it. So if you're unfamiliar with a hexacopter, it's uh, six motors, six props, six arms. This particular frame is uh, all carbon fiber. It does have some aluminum parts. Very strong, very reliable frame. Here we have the landing gear. These are carbon fiber, some aluminum parts. Uh, they do not come with the T960 frame, so that's something you'll have to keep in mind. It would be an extra cost. And these are retracts. So getting this frame ready to fly, you just simply pull the arms forward and lock them down. And that's it. Here we have the motors. These are Multistar Elite 5010 274 kV. Uh, really excellent motor. Been flying them over three years. Uh, changed the bearings one time, that's about it. Uh, been flying eight cell and six cell on them with an 18 by 6.1 carbon fiber prop. Uh, they handle the weight and the demand uh, just great. After about a 30 minute flight, they're a little bit warm, just a little bit, but uh, that's about it. They're a really great motor. As for the ESCs, uh, we have KDE Direct, UAS 35 plus. Constant is about 30 to 35 amp, and the burst is about 60 amp, I believe. Uh, probably the best ESCs I've ever used. They're a little pricey, but uh, you know, when you're flying something that's 15 to 20 pounds, you, uh, you definitely want a good ESC. The flight controller is under this cover here. It's the DJI N3 flight controller. I can't show you that right now, but if you would like a more in-depth look at that controller, I have a video on my channel, so check that out if you like. The cameras I have mounted on here, this is a DJI X5. I'll explain this ring a little later, but in order to mount this camera, I use the Matrice 600 camera mounting kit. I'm using a voltage step down uh, to power the camera and gimbal, and that's set at 17 volts. But if you want to save a little weight, uh, instead of running the X5, you can run the X3 on here if you like. And here we have the second camera. Uh, this is a Flearview Pro 336 model. And it's attached to a Terrell 3 axis gimbal, and that gimbal is specifically designed for this camera. So. I'm going to show you how I control that camera. Here's how I'm controlling the FLIR camera and gimbal. This is the Matrice 600 channel expansion kit. Comes with four dials, two three-way switches, and two momentary switches. You would just go into the Assistant 2 on your computer and map everything that you need to map. And in that kit, it comes with this new module that you'll have to install. Now keep in mind, if you use the SDI here, it will delete that. And just a quick demonstration, and take a look at the camera here. This controls the pitch of the camera. This controls start and stop recording. And this one is for the color palettes. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I switch between the cameras. The top right, where it says HD, and click on that. Come down to app output mode. Right now it's in EXT. I'll switch that to light bridge. And now we have the FLIR camera. Just by switching this switch here. Right now it's in black hot. That's white hot. And one more time we have the rainbow. So just an extra bonus on this FLIR view. Pro camera. Uh, everybody that has this camera knows that it only has an AV out signal. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I've done to switch that or convert that to an HDMI signal. Here is how I've done it. Uh, this is an AV to HDMI converter. What it does is it takes the AV signal in, works its magic, and you get an HDMI signal out. You will need to purchase an HDMI flat ribbon cable. This is the full-size HDMI plug on this side and on this side is the micro HDMI plug that will plug into the light bridge air unit and you can get this cable off of eBay you also need to power it with a 5 volt source now I've also had a lot of questions about my awareness lighting uh, here's the 
control box here. Uh, this is just from an emergency type vehicle like a fire rescue or something like that, but uh, it only runs off of 12 volts and you can use just regular LED stripping like you can get off of eBay or somewhere, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like. The batteries I'm using, I have a few of these 12,000 milliamp 6 cells and a few of these 8 cell 16,000 milliamp. I'll run these first after I deplete those, I fall back to the 6 cells. To change the battery, it's pretty simple. I just pl unplug the no spark, unplug the XT60, pull down here, raise the door, and the battery comes out. Okay, for the lenses I use on the DJI X5 camera, first we have the Panasonic Lumix 35 to 100 millimeter. This is a manual zoom lens, so I don't really use it a whole lot, but if I do need that distance shot, this does come in really handy, and it is a good lens. It's a FH, or I'm sorry, HFS 35 100. And next we have Panasonic Lumix. This is a Prime, so 1.7. It's 25 millimeter, and this is usually my go-to lens. It's a, great, a really great lens. And last but not least, we have the Olympus M Zuko Digital. This is a 40, I'm sorry, 14 to 42 millimeter. This is an electric zoom lens. I can use the app to uh, zoom with this lens, and it comes in really handy. Here's the ring I was talking about earlier. This is 3D printed. I slip this over this to balance the lens. I was using this, this just screws on the end, but for some reason I was getting vibration when I zoomed all the way out or all the way in. So I just made this up and uh, I don't get any vibrations now and it works great. I haven't waited in a while so let's go ahead and do that. Try to get it on there straight as I can. And let me zoom that in. So it looks like roughly 5200. And the 8 cell. See what that weighs. So about 2600 grams. So that's about 7800 grams. 17 pounds altogether. So that's about it guys, uh, hope the video wasn't too boring for you, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that you know what to do. Uh, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be showing you how I get the HDMI signal from the radio to a pair of goggles like this or an external monitor with an HDMI in. You won't be tethered anymore by a cable, it'll be wireless. So don't forget to subscribe and like, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one.